here we have a Mazda 3 2016 and it's coming up with a exhaust pressure sensor fault code it is a P0471 and P0472 codes and that could either be a faulty sensor or a clogged pipe uh, we checked it and it seems like the sensor works and the pipe is clogged so this is the sensor and it sits right in there and plugs into that cable and if you go from the front of the car it sits right behind the engine and that is the hose that the sensor connects to and this is what a sensor looks like on a Master 3 We used a bit of brake cleaning fluid and EGR cleaners to break down the carbon deposits and suck in the pipes. So we left it to soak in for a bit. Then we used a drill and a brake cable to sort of get the uh, carbon removed. It takes about 30 minutes to about 2 hours so depends on how much carbon is uh, clogged up there uh, but it's good to keep going and you know make sure it's all clean. We cleaned it up a bit more with a bit more brake fluid and we did this about 20 minutes to make sure everything is cleaned up so it doesn't get clogged up again. Alright so we are going to just test it for pressure. I'm just using a normal tie pump. I've got this tube and here it is connected and this is the other end. Now I'm going to just push it down on here. We want it to stay as to zero as possible. So, so I'm going to put it down onto that. Good news, it stays at zero. Into it. You might have to just turn it a little bit like that to get it all in and okay all in and obviously these things go on top of it and hold it down but I'm not going to do that now I'm going to test it out first see if it's all working and go for a drive that's plugged in let's clear out the codes so here we have the Diagnostics tool. Let's run a diagnostics. Yep, it's still have got back. So it's still saying exhaust pressure sensor range performance. So that was the one from before. Let's enter data. Let's see if the pressure sensor is actually showing up any uh, readings. And go into read data stream. Okay. Exhaust pressure sensor. Okay, so exhaust pressure sensor at 100. If I raise it, we see it going up, which is great news. Okay, all right, let's reset the codes. Let's clear codes. Yes. It's clearing all the codes and there's no codes on there let's go back I'm gonna run one more diagnostics before we set off uh, just to see I actually come spike with anything okay and no codes for me and let's go for a drive okay. we also uh, did a DPF regen to just make sure everything was clean before we went on the test drive it is super cold today it is uh, minus one outside hopefully the road's not too slippery I think maybe the pressure sensor uh, might have came off yeah it is definitely off or something sort of loose 
Yeah, so the uh, pressure sensor slipped out because we didn't put the brackets on top of it to hold it down. And I think I lost it, so I need to order uh, them and put it all back in. But other than that, everything with the codes and the errors are fixed. And we should be good to go. Maybe find a temporary fix for now. But yeah, thank you for watching.